Okay. We're going to look at a slightly different situation. Uh, this is a much denser circuit board. It's a six layer board. It's actually out of a photo editing terminal from the 90s. Um, of course, it's got a lot of RAM. And we are going to replace this chip right here. And that's a 24 pin dip. It's not the standard width, it's actually a, a memory chip. So anyhow, we're going to remove that guy. Uh, this is a lot denser and uh, more typical of what you'll see today. Okay, the chip is right here. I've uh, marked where it is with a Sharpie. Sort of helps when they get a little bit denser. I'm going to be using the same 33 watt quarter inch chisel tip soldering iron. Uh, within reason, it's much better in this case to have a little bit too much heat than not quite enough. The heat, the amount of heat you put in is more the control of the heat. It's up to you. So the first thing we're going to do is re-solder this. That always helps. While the pitch on this board is much finer, the chip is bigger. So we're still heating up more stuff. Okay, get our solder sucker and just start at one end. See, I already know that one didn't come out. I'm going to go back and re-solder this one that didn't quite come out, and we'll try it again here in a minute. And we'll keep going down the other side. There's another one that's questionable. Don't worry, sometimes that you know you you mistime it. And it really is just a matter of guesstimating. Also, don't don't worry. Um, you can see there's a lot of debris plumping around. That's we'll clean that off before we replace it. Okay, let's go back and get this one that didn't quite come out. That looked good. Okay, there's another one. Let's resolder that one. And you might have to do this with two or three spots, but never, ever, ever work it. Okay, looking at this, 
I see one up here that I don't like, so uh, I'm going to re-solder it. I'm going to go back to this one that I re-soldered a minute ago. Okay. Now, very, very important, we want to make sure all these leads are free. They'll be stuck to the sides. You can, I don't know if you can hear that. You'll feel a little click when they come loose. Okay, I gotta turn this around. Okay, that one I don't like. So, we're going to go back in. And there's really no way to do this like lightning speed. It takes whatever time it takes. Okay, let's go to the other side. Now this is the one we're removing. First thing we want to do is look down it and make sure everything is free. Uh, this is pretty dense to get into if, if, if you don't have it. All right, let's, uh, let's try and remove this one. This is good leverage. Well, that side came out pretty good. Uh, it's unusual. No, not totally unusual. Do not put too much pressure on it. Now, see that end there is still firmly attached. So we'll find which one it is because we don't want to just pull it out. Now it looks like it's the third pin down there. Okay, I'm going to cheat. There we go. There was only one pin holding it in soon. And there you go. That's how you, uh, there's the chip we removed. Let's see if we can find the other side. Now in this case, right there, to clean that up, I'm going to shoot a little bit of flux off on it before I put a new chip in. But that's how you replace a chip. Hope you enjoyed it.